Each of us must model integrity in the making and keeping of our commitments. Someone asked the question, what does it mean to model integrity? I heard a quote that I think reflects the definition. It said, judge a man not by what he does, but what he does that he doesn't have to do. And to judge the true quality of a man is what he does when nobody's looking. Wow. That's real. I, I remember walking with one of the top executives at Procter & Gamble. And as we were walking through one of the dividing areas, there was some chewing gum paper on the ground. And he said, hold it just a minute. And he stooped down to pick it up. It's a corporate executive. They talk about seamless service. Now, he was not a janitor. And I'm sure they had janitors there. That was not his responsibility. But I admired the fact that he felt that that paper and him walking by it was a reflection of Procter & Gamble, but also a reflection of him. I remember when I spent the day with Dexter Yeager. Dexter Yeager, who 50% of the volume of Amway went through his organization. I spent a day with him. That was a, that was a rare privilege. There were thousands of people would like to spend a day with a guy who earns over a million dollars every 17 hours. And I remember after spending the day with him, when we ended our conversation, I was going downstairs and I reached for my luggage. He said, no, no, I got it. And he had a limousine out there to pick me up and he put my luggage in the trunk of the car. And, and then he opened the door for me. Now, there was a guy there to drive, but he opened the door. Dexter did, guy who earns a million dollars every 17 hours. We went to the airport, and he got out, opened the door for me. I said, I got it, Dexter. He went in the trunk, got my luggage, and this is before the securities that we have now at airports. And he carried my luggage and people saying, hey, that's Les Brown. Can I get an autograph? And this guy who's a billionaire, Dexter Yeager, wouldn't let me carry my luggage to the gate. He didn't have to do that. I knew then why Dexter had 50% of the volume. That's how powerful his organization was that went through Amway. He, he felt that if you've got somebody in your organization, you should know the husband's name, the spouse's name, the children's name, the color of the carpet in the living room. He believed in relationships and self-development and hold yourself to a higher standard. He said, if somebody is a guest of yours and if their hand touched the doorknob or the car door, they get a demerit. He held his people to a culture of achievement, treating people with respect and integrity, that there was consistency. Anywhere I went around the country, I knew if the person greeting me was in Dexter's organization or if they were just another part of the Amway arm because of the integrity of how they showed up. And that's not just in personal relationships, it's, it's in business. They did a study and they wanted to know, what does customer service mean to the average American citizen? You know what the word kept coming up? Reliability. Do they honor their word? Do they keep their word? Reliability, can I count on it? Integrity, can I count on it? Will they do as they say? Will they under-promise and over-deliver? Do they hold themselves to a different standard? As you look at yourself, look at your relationships, look at how you operate and function in business, is it from a place of integrity? Because if it is, the level of achievement, if it is your reputation, if it is the impact that you're able, able to make in the marketplace, it's gonna be reflected. We must all model integrity in the making and keeping of our commitments. And the difference between involvement and commitment, the next time you have bacon and eggs, the pig had to give it all up. <laughs> you, you have got to give up 
all of the negative things that will work against you and generate the positive things that will work for you. That's my story. Nine principles of greatness. Which ones will you work with? Choose one and, and let us know how it's working for you. You have something special. You have greatness within you. And I'm sticking to that.